Welcome to Meet and Match, Digital Platform Edition of Linea Pelle Fair. Hello, Eduardo Brito. Hello, Rieta. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you to be here. I'm very happy to ask you what Eduardo Brito is doing, which is your your job? Yeah, I'm an architect and uh, I am in the market for 15 years now. And uh, I am specialized in interior design and residential architecture. And uh, my work uh, reflects uh, the Brazil uh, uh, moment. And uh, we are struggling with the a new uh, way of working, but everything is going to be fine and uh, we are going straight ahead. Great. So, you design residential, you re do you design uh, public space? What's going on with your consumer right now? Yeah, I understand that uh, the Brazilian consumer is uh, very global, global, and uh, it's not a niche anymore. We don't say that a Brazilian uh, have an expectation that's different from an European person. And uh, I think that uh, people now have information and they see what's going on and happening in the world. And uh, now my my client has uh, this. Um, urban uh, identity that's uh, very uh, modern and very connected. Which are the materials are you looking for when you design an interior for them? Yeah, uh, my, my creative process uh, is the I try to balance from the two spheres, the emotional sphere and the logic sphere. My emotional sphere is, is between what the client wants, what he feels, how he expects this space, and why are the, the, what he likes. Then I try to analyze the structure of the space. How are the beams, the pillars, and the ceiling, and when I, I get all of this information, I join them together and then I try to choose the materials. So I prefer to, to uh, work with contrasts. So if I have a, a, a solid a concrete or uh, an exposed structure, I try to mix with a, a, a noble material like marble or like a specific kind of wood or a, a texture or leather. So it depends on this information. I try to, to manage uh, this equilibrium from these two spheres. I assume that naturality is uh, one of the main issues right now. What do you think yes. about this topic? Yeah, I think that uh, person, people need to feel uh, at home they, when they are at home. They, they try to to be relaxed and to be comfort. And I think that the natural fabrications, natural materials, give it to, to, to people. So uh, a beautiful furniture with leather or uh, a fiber, a natural fiber, they, they gave the sensation of a home, of, it's nice to touch, it's nice to be there, so. So you talk about leather. What you would like to see on a leather surface? Yeah, automatically, uh, leather uh, gives the, the impression of uh, masculinity and strength and durability. So, uh, when, when I, I, I made a space and I, I try to expose the structure and try to make uh, the most uh, extensive space possible, I try to put some furniture that to give attention, to grab the attention. So I imagine a, a very sofa, a nice sofa with leather, or uh, it's, it's, it's focused and it, 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 it look, you look at the, at the piece and it, it calls your attention. It's, 
an invitation, it's almost an invitation. I think this is also one of the way that put you feeling the touching, correct? Yes, I think that this is important, you know, it's, it's a personal uh, sensation. And what about sustainability for your clients? The, the, um, the kind of the person that I, I, I make a, um, a project uh, is somebody that uh, knew my, saw my, 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 my work in the social media and they had a very clear image of what they want. So, uh, when they come to me, uh, I, I try to make them relax and don't, don't have any doubts to, to get uh, what, specifically what they want. So, uh, it's, for me, it's, it's the way that to connect with these people and, and to understand what they want for a good job. I think that uh, it's to be clear and to understand what they expect and what they feel about their home or their, their space. It's the, the way to make a good job. I think the message is really clear. Sustainability in this case is more emotional. It's more yes. private. It's more yes. personalization to your, to your client. I think this is more deeper than other things. Yes, I mean, um, people are very aware now what uh, are wrong and what are good for the environment. And uh, I believe that uh, product, product with, um, with uh, this um, intention of not pollute the environment are very welcome, very welcome. And uh, I think that people understand that sometimes more expensive than the, the other one but it has a, a message there and it's uh, it's a new way of life like we can not say that it's not uh, happening it's, it's something that we are aware of. i think it's it's clear and i'm i really wish to live in one of the places that it's designed by you oh thank you Thank you. For sure. You should Thank come you. to Brazil. For sure, for sure. And since we we really think there are several connections between the two countries in design, in art, in the way to make things. Yes, yes. I think that um, Italy and Brazil have very similarities. We have a very uh, great colony here from Italians immigrants. My grandfather was Italian from Veneto and uh, mm. I mean we are very connected to it. Very connected. Thank you very much Eduardo. Yeah, thank you Rieta. It's so nice to be here.